Well, there's no video on this, so I decided to make one. Here we got a Ford 2002 Ranger Edge. It's got the 3.0 engine. And what I'm going to do today, besides cleaning the battery terminals, of course, is the timing chain. And the reason why I have to change the timing chain is it's got 141,000 miles on it. And it started leaking at the uh, timing chain housing where it mates to the engine block. Unlike the old Chevrolets, the water pump passages pass through the timing chain cover. So, if it develops a leak, which this one here I had to pressure test it with my cooling system pressure tester. And uh, wait for the coolant to run out since we're in Connecticut and it gets cold up here yeah I strongly recommend running good clean antifreeze in a clean system for optimum performance okay well this this is what we got to start with and I'll kick it back on when uh, I get some of this here tore apart explain to you what I did now what I've done so far is I drain first removed the radiator cap it, the radiator cap, some of you may or may not know, has a safety valve, spring, rubber seal. Feel that first indent. If it was hot, you'd just leave it there and it'd flow back to the overflow tank. When it cools down to where it's safe enough to touch, then you'd want to remove it. Then you place a suitable pan underneath, which that's the pan I used. It's empty now. I had a hose, I couldn't find it, so I used a block of wood to get the pan close as I could. Then I put it back in antifreeze jugs so it's marked. I know what's in that jug. I don't have to guess because we will be reusing that later on. After the radiator's drained and the coolant properly stored, then I used a chain wrench. A strap wrench would work much better. And uh, this fan, I found out, because I tried a little bit one way, lefty loosey, righty tighty, well, this is backwards, so it's a left hand thread. So a strap wrench would work much better, but I can polish out the little nicks in the teeth so it doesn't tear up the belt or replace the pulley if it is bad. But this is an old strap wrench and the points are rounded off from years of abuse at Caterpillar. All right. Okay, now got my chain wrench in there. I've succeeded in removing the reverse thread clutch fan assembly from liberating it from the water pump. And now I took the two screws holding the top of the shroud. One was over here, one was over here, and I put those in a Ziploc bag. Now you can take a Sharpie and mark it. But I'm not going to leave it apart that long. I just segregate all my bolts as I take them off. So I know what goes where. That's all for now.